Hello again. I'm here to talk about Retrek View cameras, the Retrek View 5x7. If you go to eBay, you'll usually find them with an odd looking wooden back on it, like this. But this back isn't very useful anymore. This back is for half plate film, which is uh, four and three quarters by six and a half inches or something. Um, it is, I don't have one to show you, but it's a bit bigger than four by five and it's a little bit smaller than five by seven. It was a format that was very popular in Japan for portrait photographers, so you'll see a lot of them. Now, you can get the film, you can get half plate film. Um, Shanghai make 4x5, 5x7. They also make it in um, half plate and they also make full plate. Full plate is, full plate is in between 5x7 and 8x10. Uh, it is available. The, challenge though is with these wooden backs. These wooden backs were designed to work with these old wooden film holders. Um, they call these book form holders because they open up like a book and you put your film in here. Insert B-roll. You put your film into these sheaths, you put them in here. Now I believe that you can use these to fit glass plates. So if you want to buy a quarter plate glass, and no, that's by the way, the plate in quarter plate means glass plate. So they were a, um, a format originally that glass plates were available in. This one holds two, and there's another film on this side here. Um, you will note how fiddly this would be to load in a dark room or a change bag. Now, <clears throat> the problem isn't necessarily the size of the sheet or anything like that. The problem is, is that there was no standard size for these book form holders. So basically, every back manufacturer made their own holders to go with their backs. So this doesn't have a brand on it, but one of the very common brands is Hope. If you bought a Hope back, you needed to buy Hope film holders for it. Um, you might think, oh, that's a bit odd, but think nowadays with, um, <clears throat> with say, digital cameras. Every, cam every manufacturer has their own battery. Every manufacturer has their own hand grip and remote control and stuff like that. Stuff is not the same thing back here. Um, these holders, this is what we now know as standard film holders, these became a standard and manufacturers had to work with these. So these are good, but hold that thought. Uh, these are not so good. So if you are buying a Retrek view camera on the second hand market and it comes with this back, you won't be able to use the back. So what do you do with the camera? The answer is, is that on the Retrek cameras, you flip these two levers up here and the back comes off. Okay. Here's the 4x5 back. And here is the 5x7 back. So, I pop that in there. It's now, uh, it's now a 4x5 camera. I mentioned in the introduction that it is a, I mentioned in the introduction that the There we go. 
there's the lovely ground glass there. So that is the size of the negative. Where are we? Yeah. That's the size of the negative there. Okay. If you feel like getting into um, 5 by 7 which is reasonably... 5 by 7 is not terribly easy to get, but there is a bit around. GP3 Magnet, I've been shooting GP3, um, Shanghai. 5x7 uh, is very nice. You would contact print 5x7, and 5x7 would, would be the smallest size that is contact printable. You can contact print any film, of course. 4x5 um, makes a, a print that isn't very exciting. 5x7 makes a print that's big enough to... You, uh, you contact print it onto a 10x8, so it's got a nice white board around it, and you're good to go. It's, it's basically a finished print. One more thing. I mentioned that the 4x5 and 5x7 film holders are standardised. They are, but um, there are two sizes. Well, there are, there are two film sizes in 4x5. One's 4x5. The other is the metric version, which is 9x12 centimetres. Now, the film holder is the same on the outside, but it's different here. This size is different. So when you buy your film holders, um, if it's four by five, it won't say anything. If it's nine by 12, it'll say in white writing somewhere, nine by 12. Five by seven is even more complicated because you've got five by seven, this is five by seven. You've got um, th uh, 13 by 18 centimeters, which is, the, which is the metric equivalent. They also make half plate film adapters in this size, and that'll have um, four and a quarter by six and a quarter written up here somewhere, okay? So you can use half plate film in a five by seven camera, but half plates films so hard to get, um, and um, I have a five by seven developing tank. Half plate film won't fit in that; it'll just fall out because it's not big enough. So it's not worth it. When you buy four by five, I should do a, a talk just now. When you buy four by five holders, and when you buy five by seven holders, look carefully to make sure that you're getting what you want. Now, if you're in Australia, America, UK. The imperial sizes, 4x5 and 5x7, are far more common. Uh, in the UK, it's 5'4 and 7'5. If you're in Europe, 9x12 and 13x18 are more common. So, before you buy, buy based on which films are the most available. Anyway, thank you for viewing.